Well, a potential breakthrough in the treatment for COVID-19. Doctors at Oxford University in the United Kingdom say a common steroid improves survival rates in the sickest patients, raising recovery prospects for people on ventilators by a third. When somebody comes off a ventilator, do they come off the ventilator dead or alive? And we've improved their chances of coming off that ventilator alive. The drug is called dexamethasone, and PAT hospitals in the United Kingdom are already using it as part of their COVID treatment. Dexamethadone. We're learning all kinds of fancy names. <laughs> CBN Medical Reporter Lori Johnson is joining us now. Lori, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Pat. Hey, how does this dexamethadone work? Why is it such a big deal? Pretty good, pretty good. You got that down. Uh, it's a steroid, and it's really fantastic for people who are at death's door, for the sickest of the sick, people who are on ventilators. These are the machines in the hospital that breathe for us. It reduced the death rate of people on vents by a third. That's huge. And then also for people who are receiving oxygen to help them breathe, reduced their death rate by a fifth. But also, Pat, really didn't show benefit for anyone else else for people with milder cases. So folks who have access to this or other steroids should really not use that for a more mild case of COVID because the literature shows that sometimes steroids can actually prolong the duration of COVID-19. So if you have a steroid, talk to your doctor about it. This particular steroid is very common and very cheap. It's only eight bucks for a pill and it's also given in uh, IV form. And what it does is it, it's an anti-inflammatory and, and calms down that cytokine storm that we know has been killing so many COVID-19 patients. That's when your immune system tries to attack the COVID uh, virus, but just kind of goes crazy into overdrive and starts attacking your own organs and ends up killing you. And so that's what this helps prevent. And even though uh, this study was in the UK and it's now being standard of care in the UK, doctors here in America have been using it for COVID patients off label. Uh, Lori, how far are we along toward a vaccine? People have been working on it. Are we any closer? Well, we know that uh, a lot of health officials on the COVID task force and others have been saying a vaccine could be available to the public as early as this fall. We know that there are 70 vaccines in development right now. Ten of them are being tested on people. You know that that's a very long process. You have to first check to make sure that it's safe and then also make sure that it works in small groups of people and then very large groups of people. And then once the vaccine has been approved, it usually take six months to make enough doses and get it out to all the doctor's offices. So what they're doing right now is they're looking at some of the leading contenders and already starting to mass produce it so that when these are produced, when these are approved, that they'll be ready to go. Hopefully by the end of the year, we could see hundreds of millions of doses by the end of this year, the beginning of next year. That's what the goal is. That's incredible good news. I'm, I tell you, that thing has been just destroying our economy and destroying the lives of people. Hey, by the way, it, it looks like that wet market in Wuhan was the source of this uh, COVID thing. Now it looks like it's a little flyer of the, of the virus in China. Can you tell us about that? That's right. For a couple of months in Beijing, there have been no reports of any new cases. And now they're looking at about 150 new cases, according to the Chinese Communist government. And they're saying that this new flare up started in a market. And so they're not letting any air traffic in and out of Beijing. They've cut air flights, 1,200 flights, 60%. They've shut down the schools, the movie theaters, and a lot of these neighborhoods around that giant market are um, on lockdown as well. So they're really trying to tamp down that most recent flare up in Beijing. Well, I hope they can do it. By the way, it's considered uh, not uh, politically correct to call this thing a Chinese virus, but it came out of China from the wet market. They, they were uh, mingling uh, wild animals with domestic animals, and there was no sanitation whatsoever. Wendy, uh, thank you very much, Lori. My pleasure. It. Thanks for having me.